Yo, what up guys, it's your boy Legendary here, and today people, I'm excited because we're gonna be doing another casual duel with my boy Jordan. I hope you enjoyed the first one. By the way, I'm also bulk recording, so this is all happening in one night, so I haven't even seen whatever comments come from the first video so to see if everyone enjoyed it, but we're gonna knock a couple of these out, see how uh, this interacts with other fans and stuff like that to see if you guys like it. But yeah, so once again, just like the last one, we're gonna be doing a best two out of three, but if one of the duels ends up being so good, I might only post that one up uh, and, and just leave it like that because, you know, obviously the best duel is obviously the one you would want to put up. But yeah, so this time... Of course, of course, man, of course. Yes, and that's, uh, that's my boy Jordan Randall right there. Say what's up to the people. What's up, everyone? It's glad to be back here, bro. I am so excited to be. Let's Absolutely, this. man. This is a, I think this was how we first met when we first um, dueled on the channel on Dueling Book. I think that was like one of our first interactions, I think. Um, maybe yeah. I'm wrong. Yeah. No, 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 no. Our first interaction was back during like we did the subscriber thing on Duel Links. Oh, really? Okay, so it was on Duel Links then. Okay. Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. All right, sweet. Well, we're doing this. It's been a long time since we uh, dueled on here, and uh, we're going to be doing a very weird one. As you guys see on the thumbnail, we're going to be doing... Uh, Johan versus Kite Tenjo. It's a very strange one, so we'll see how this goes. <laughs> All right, so uh, yeah, we're gonna get started. Let's do rock paper scissors. All right, looks like I'm going first. So since we're doing uh, Zale and GX, uh, we can draw on the first turn. So Master will uh, three format. I will choose to go first. Thousand life points. Okay. Uh, not bad. Looks like I'm going first. I draw. All right. I'll start off by activating my pot of greed. This allows me to draw two cards from my deck. I draw two. Well, all right. I start off by summoning my Crystal Beast Amber Man. Then I equip my Crystal Release. This gives him an extra 800 attack points. So he's now 2,500. Then I set one card face down and I end my turn. Your move. It's my turn. I draw. I'll start things off by setting my Daybreaker in defense mode. And All with right. that, I'll call it, and with that, I'll call it a turn. Alright. And it's my go. I draw. I'll summon my Crystal Beast, Amethyst Cat. Alright, let's battle. Amethyst Cat, attack his Daybreaker. Alright. Amber Mammoth, direct attack! Trample him. Ugh. Not looking too good. I end my turn. I draw. Excellent. Hmm. I play the spell card Photon Trade. Now by sending a Photon Monster from my hand to the graveyard, I'm allowed to draw two new cards. Nice. And, and the, the trouble's not, not looking good for you either, my little friend. Because I activate the Quick Play spell Re Galaxy. Hmm. With this, I can target a galaxy monster in my graveyard and special summon it, but its attack points are halved. So appear, my very embodiment servants, Galaxy Eyes Photon Dragon. Wow, that's a neat looking dragon. It's more true than BCI, because guess what? Galaxy Rebirth counts as the exact same monster that was used that was used a special summon. Now watch as I overlay my level 8 Re Galaxy and my level 8 Galaxy Eyes Photon Dragon. With these two monsters, I build the overlay network. Appear before me now, number 46, Dragluon. Whoa, I've never seen a monster like that. And guess what? You get to experience his wrath. Number 46, attack. Golden Flame Burst. I'll activate my trap card, G Force. Now when the monster you control attacks, you have to conduct an attack with a Mythical Beast monster in my hand. So you have to conduct battle with my Rainbow Dragon, the Zenith Crystal Beast. We both have 3,000 attacks, so we'd both be knocked out. Not exactly, my little friend. You see, here's the thing. Numbers can only be destroyed by other numbers. So therefore, only your Zenith is going down. What? No way! All right, well, my monster has a special ability, too. When it's destroyed, instead of going to the graveyard, it gets placed in my Spell and Trap Card Zone. All right, move to my Spell and Trap Card Zone, uh, Zenith Crystal Beast. You made, you, you, made, you made yourself trouble for now, but let, unless you can defeat my Dragluon, your chances of winning this duel are slim to none. <laughs> I end my turn. All right, then. It's my go. I draw. 
What's the matter? Don't don't tell me you're scared. Not exactly. I'm just trying to think of the best way to counter you. All right. Then how about this? I activate the effect of my amethyst cat. She can have her attack and then attack you directly. What? That's right. Amethyst cat, direct attack. You take 600. <sighs> I'll end my turn with that. I draw. Up here before me, photon crusher. Hmm. Now go, number 46, attack is mammoth, golden flame strike. No, my amber mammoth. I activate the effect of my crystal release. You only take 500 because... It gains the 800 attack. Oh, yeah, you're right, you're right. So. My bad, my bad. Hold on, let me let me bounce that back. Yeah. Good. All right, sorry about that. Yeah, I gained back 800. Uh, the effect of my Amber Mammoth activates. It gets sent to my Spell and Trap card zone instead. Not only that, but the effect of my Crystal Release activates. When this card is equipped and sent uh, to the graveyard, I can place one Crystal Beast monster from my deck in my Spell and Trap card zone. I'll set from my deck my Crystal Beast Sapphire Pegasus. Shit. <laughs> doesn't matter what you try. Photon Crusher, annihilate his cats. Ah, my Amethyst Cat. Well, she also returns to my Spell and Trap card zone. You, you may have you may have in interesting monsters, but, but, but they all fail against me. Since it's Photon Crusher attack, it's switched to defense mode. Hmm. And that's all. All right. My go, I draw. All right, I could activate my ancient city rainbow ruins this is the field of my crystal beast monsters it has multiple effects depending on how many crystal beast monsters i have in my back row i'll activate its fourth effect if i control four or more crystal beast monsters in my in my back row i get to draw one card i draw Ooh. i will activate my crystal promise this allows me to target a crystal beast monster in my back row and special summon it it doesn't matter what monster you choose to summon. They nearly don't have enough strength to combat Draglawan. Hmm. Well, we'll see about that. I'll start off by summoning my Crystal Beast Sapphire Pegasus in defense mode. And his effect activates. When he summoned, I can place a Crystal Beast monster from my hand, deck, or graveyard to the Spell Trap card zone. So I will place my Ruby Carnbuckle from my deck. All right. I can't get over your monster this turn, but next turn I will. I'll continue by setting one card face down, and I end my turn. <laughs> it seems this duel is over as just as soon as, as soon as it's begun. Now I activate the spell card, Polymerization. No way. Now I fuse both Photon Pirate with, with my Photon Cerberus. Hmm. Appear before me now, Twin Photon Lizard. All right. And now the fun really begins, because now I activate Twin Photon Lizard's effect. By sacrificing him, I can special summon the, the fusion materials needed for its summoning. Mm. So Photon Cerberus and Photon Pirate take to the field. No way. Now I overlay these two these two level three monsters to build the overlay network once again. A appear before me, number twenty, Giga Brilliance. A and now the effect of Giga Brilliant kicks in. By the use of one overlay unit, all other monsters I control gain three hundred extra attack points. Now. Photon Crusher, take out his Pegasus. And ah. since, uh, since your spell and trap cards are now filled, it can't save itself. Pulling into this farce, Golden Flame Strike. You think I'm gonna go here? I activate my Quick Play Spell card, E-Force. This allows me to select a Crystal Beast in my spell and trap card zone and special summon it. Come forth, my Ruby Carnbuckle. Then my Ruby's effect activates. When it's special summon, I can summon all of my Crystal Beast monsters from my back row to the field. So I special summon my Amber Mammoth, and I summon my Zenith Crystal Beast, and I'll leave my Amber, and I'll leave my Amethyst Cat in the back row for now. Right. Doesn't matter. Now, Dragalon, attack, attack his Rainbow Dragon Crystal Beast once again. Golden Flame Strike. I activate the effect of my Amber Mammoth. You have to select him as the attack target. Ha! And now my Amber Mammoth moves to the Spell and Trap card zone. Find that Giga Brilliant. Take out, take out his Ruby Carbuckle now. Ruby Carbuckle, return to my back row. Once again, Photon Crusher now switches to defense mode. And that's all. Alright, it's my go. I draw. Alright. Then I will set one card face down. Then my Zenith Rainbow Dragon will attack your Giga Brilliant. 
Yeah, I lost. Oh, wow. I mean, I, I, I completely forgot you only had 900. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I, I was so focused on the fact that I was trying to, like, summon my rainbow dragon and, like, trying to get over your dragon one. I forgot that you only have 900. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, that's game. That's game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. GG, CG, CG. CG, bro, GG. I, I, I defeated you with mini rainbow dragon. <laughs> anyway, guys, uh, thank you guys for watching the duel. I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, we, we did have a best two out of three match, but I felt like the other two duels weren't that amazing. But the first one, well, the second one, the middle one was great. So we're going to choose that one. So the one that you just watched was the second one. Uh, that we thought was the best one, the most entertaining one. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, Jordan, you got any final words you want to say to the peeps? Not much, man. Like it, like honestly, bro. It's just glad to be here, bro. Like thanks for like thanks for bringing me back. No problem, dude. Thank you for doing me. Thank you for coming through and uh, for making some awesome content for the channel. So I'm happy, man. Thank you. No problem, man. Always. All right. God bless you guys. Thank you guys for watching. Gotcha. Oh no, no, Kaito.